my name is Mrs. Terry Mungai. I'm the CEO and founder of Ashley's Kenya Limited. Hi, how are you? Thank you for coming to Ashley's. Yeah. Ashley's how is um, a grooming company. We run salons, spas and barber shops and also cosmetic shops. We also have training facility. Yeah, I can see you have a client. Okay. Are you marking for her? Oh. I started um, in business in 1994 and um, uh, I, I left employment. I was working for uh, Diners International and when uh, they closed shop in Nairobi, I went into business and I had always wanted to go into the salon business. Are you happy with the service? I'm very happy. Good. Very good. Uh, to date, we have about 250 uh, employees uh, scattered all over the different branches. And we have 12 outlets, all based in Nairobi and one in Mombasa, the coastal area of Kenya. We also, along the line, uh, realize we cannot sustain the business without the training part of it. We have uh, three campuses. We call them uh, campuses. This is the biggest, which is uh, located in the central uh, district, uh, business district of Nairobi. And we have over 100 students learning um, uh, hair uh, and, and, and uh, beauty and what it entails when you're doing hair it, it, it's basically knowing all there is to know about hair. All right. And we give international a certification, which is city and guilds. And also for beauty, it's, uh, it's about the skin. And that is where you learn the popular services like manicure, pedicure, facials, massage, and nail technology. Being a woman uh, in business in Kenya is a much more, um, we have a level uh, a, a playing field. Uh, it was not that way before because when we, we were starting out in 1994, you still went to the bank and they wanted to know whom you're married to and whether you have permission to be in business. But now all that has changed. You are considered a business, an entrepreneur, not, not in a salary, uh, they don't look at gender anymore. We got involved with the Miss World Kenya franchise. We were approached by the then uh, franchise holder. We were sponsors for two years. And when they were ready to change the, the, the franchise holder, they approached me in uh, 2002 and they asked whether we would be interested and we thought it would be good because I have a bias in trying to bring up a young women to have confidence in themselves and create employment. I want women to celebrate their beauty. Hand in hand with the salons and barber shops, we've realized there is need for being self-sufficient in the products and hence us finding a need to run our own cosmetic shop that makes it easier for clients and other outsiders to come and get premium products from us. Now that we have ventured into cosmetics, I would not rule out Ashley's starting our own line in the future.